Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, something really neat. Say that you have put some time into building this grid here. Uh, it looks like this in code. Uh, and you want to share it uh, in other projects. Uh, I have done a tutorial about how great it is using InVision DSM together with Sketch to React, but this is the first time I sh I'm showing this uh, in a spoken tutorial. Um, here are Sketch to React elements, uh, code elements that I'm organizing. So I took this one and made a photo portfolio grid thingy of it. And also, I'm if you go into detail here, we can see that uh, I'm using a class. And this class uh, is here, very rounded, yes. And what this does, it's uh, rounding the image, it's clipping the images. So for example, if I want to show you so you can see the change, to change this more extreme rounding, I, I'm saving here, I'm going here, save here, and then it will update the app. You see here, say that I'm really happy with this. Uh, it's almost like the iOS app icons. Uh, the cool thing about this is I'm controlling this from here, from a small, tiny little CSS file. Uh, and that is great. Um, so say that I'm, I'm happy with this uh, and I want to upload it to DSM. We'll go here and I have my components here. And I have made a new folder here that's called grids. The only thing I need to do is uh, make sure this is a symbol because uh, if it's not a symbol, uh, it will break uh, when I re-download the components onto new sketch documents. So everything here you see here are symbols. So you mark this one here. You are in the folder that you want to be in and you press this big plus button here and it will add this to your primary brand thing here. And you can go into the this component and here, for example, you can input code. This is great. So we could do something like this. Uh, we can take the settings for the clipping say that we want to share this with our teammates and you input the code here like that then anyone that it, that you share this uh, component library with will know that okay cool uh, you can reload download this to another sketch document i can show you how you do that just do that Let's make a new one. Say that this is your teammate. I go to your grid here, like that. Boom, here's the component. And of course, important, you need to call this one start or it will not work. And you need to have it on a canvas. Let's use our desktop template here let's put it like that and this needs to be called start here since it's, it's the first artboard like that now this will work and you can do overrides but you will also need to create your own css file uh, with these settings or this will not work so uh, you also need to uh, use this one external asset that one and create the CSS file and link it so it's a couple of steps for doing this for when you have some code working on it but uh, this is a really great thing uh, working like this uh, I love InVision DSM uh, it speeds up my workflow uh, you can it's really fun seeing your components starting to build here. 
and you can put input information like what is sketch to react how to use it this is a example structure for example you could do like this you can go here and say that that is code i would i would want to do something like uh, th this is the css code that i'm using for clipping the images above like that boom and for example uh, the great thing about having this is a symbol of course is that you can override all the images here you have done all your hard work and now it's time to use it that was all cheers guys have a great one